Hey, this is John Sifferman from johnsifferman.com, where I teach real-world strength training. And I'm here with a friend of mine, a fellow strength coach, Kyle Battis, who is going to explain all about home gym training, some of the benefits, and we'll get a little tour of his training lair, his training dungeon. So, this is Kyle. And Kyle? What's up? Why don't, hey. you, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Kyle Battis. I'm a uh, strength and conditioning coach, personal trainer, um, and just, just love fitness and health and, and training. And, uh, you know, years ago, I, I had an apartment and I really got into training at home there because I found that, um, you know, despite our best plans sometimes, life gets in the way. And, you know, you meet, like, even if you ha when I had a gym membership, sometimes the gym would just be totally crowded, couldn't get a training session in. And you know, uh, one of the things that I think is really important is to find as many solutions around problems as you can. And having a home gym set up is a is a way to get around a lot of the problems of like busy gyms, you know, crazy schedule stuff like that. So that's why I built the home gym. And my home gym originally was in an apartment with a very small living room, and it consisted of a dumbbell, a stability ball, and body weight exercises. And that's how we started, you know. And then from there, um, finally got this house. We bought this house as our first house. And I originally had my gym out in the garage. And I started adding equipment. I would just like go to, to yard sales. I'd buy stuff from friends. Uh, I picked up a lot of stuff from that and just pieced it all together. And over the years, I built this up. And then um, not too long ago, a gym, a local gym went out of business. And I bought uh, a couple of the floor mats here you know, these rubber floor mats. And a great place to pick these up actually are uh, like a, a feed supply store. Like, so there's a store down the, down the road. Um, so I got a couple of these from there, but I bought the rest of them um, from a, from like a horse and feed supply place. Same exact mats that go in like a stable as the ones that go in the gym, but these are cheaper at a, like a feed store. So that's a good tip for you if you want the, the nice flooring. Um, I bought the adjustable bench from <clears throat> that gym that was going out of business for I think 50 bucks. That was a pretty sweet deal. That was a good deal. I, I got that squat rack there for maybe like 100 bucks. Um, that barbell, that trap bar, you know, some of these dumbbells, um, that barbell stand, this barbell tree, and some of these free weights. Um, and I bought some of these kettlebells online from Dragon Door, and I got some more upstairs. Um, and then, you know, I've just pieced together stuff over the years, you know. Um, you don't need all this stuff. You can, you know, start really small with what you have, you know, and, and your home gym, quote unquote, could be your living room, you know, that you hang out in and watch television in. And just when you're going into that place where you want to work out, that mindset and that time period you want to work out, that becomes your home gym. And your home gym may consist of a pair of dumbbells, you know, and that's it. So. Is that kind of what you were looking for, John? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think there's a lot of other great stuff in here. If you, I mean, you can mention the posters on the walls. Yeah, and, um, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, the posters on the wall, you know, it, it makes this kind of, like before it was just a basement, you know. Now I've got, you know, all these posters, things that are motivating to me. Um, you know, there's a gold body board, you know, that I learned about originally from uh, Christopher Guerrero and Tom Venuto. Um, and, you know, just... You want to fill your brain and your subconscious with images that are motivating to you. You know, so I got a lot of quotes that I find motivating, uh, pictures that I find motivating. So, you know, that's always good, too, if you can fill your home gym with that. And I bought a lot of these posters online. I, mean, I love the Ultimate Fighting Championship. I love motivation posters. Um, I got this mirror from my neighbor down the street. She had it out in her front yard and it said free on it. So I picked it up over her head and walked, walked home <laughs> with it. And that's how I got my mirror. Um, you don't need that. This uh, punching bag was a freebie too. Gotta love that. Um, this this uh, you know boxing bag or, or stand up boxing bag was freebie too. Somebody was giving that away. I bought these Arnold posters not too long ago. I got an old Eugene Saxon um, poster that I got online. And got this Milo poster online, Fight Club, Brad Pitt. Um, you know, so the, uh, the the posters are cool just because it's fun and it adds a little character to to the yeah. environment and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it too. creates an atmosphere yeah. where training is easy and you get pumped up. And, and it's fun, yeah. And it kind of puts you in that mindset when you come down here and you kind of step into 
this area and it kind of you start feeling the the vibe and you know then the music too i i, I like loud Absolutely. music when, when i train and that really helps too so we got some a pretty good stereo system down here yep. uh with a good, good bass good subwoofer you know that that cranks pretty loud when yeah, so we don't get stuck good. listening to the oldies at the ymca yeah exactly. <laughs> so and, and, that, and that's another reason to have a home gym is like you don't have to listen to britney spears when you work out you don't have to you know you can listen to whatever you want to like sometimes i listen to motivational talk sometimes i listen to educational marketing things on on my stereo while i train totally up to you and, and so your gym your environment you can control whatever you do um another thing too is i used to train at this gym in town uh and i still have a membership there i still do cardio there in the mornings uh, but but when you deadlift there you know they they actually yell at you if you slam the weights too loud or anything like oh that my. and you can't drop dumbbells even though it's safer you know when you're doing a dumbbell bench press to roll, drop, roll, drop, than to you know place like an 80 pound dumbbell down on the floor. So yeah. um, you can train the way you want to train, make as much noise as you want to in your own home gym. Um, some other cool stuff like bands, you can buy these real cheap too, real, real cheap. Uh, I got these ones from Iron Woody, uh, Jump Stretch, and my, new, my buddy Dave Schmitz actually has his own uh, new type of band too. I think you can check out uh, resistancebandtraining.com just do a search for Dave Smith and you'll find his bands real great stuff I got a lot of this equipment from Elite Fitness Systems um, Dave Taylor has got some great stuff these blast straps are pretty cool you can do a lot of great stuff with these they're just hanging from spending um, from the bar you can do reverse pull-ups you know reverse rows you know pu push-ups and stuff like that um, got some chains from, that I got from Louis Simmons some weight releasers that I got from Elite Fitness. Um, sandbags over here. Don't forget the sledgehammer. Yeah, I got an X vest from uh, X vest. This is these are sandbags from Josh Henkin. Um, great, probably the best sandbag on the market. I recommend those. Got a bunch of medicine balls, which are fun. John and I play a little wall ball every once in a while. Yeah, this is the the wall that we destroy <clears throat> every the wall. time. There's no posters on this part of the wall <laughs> because For good we, throw, we throw stuff against it really hard. Yeah, I got a stability ball um, for some ab stuff and some pikes and stuff. Um, then some older sandbags right here. I have some hurdles too. You know, I do a lot of mobility work with those. Um, and over in the corner, there's a sled, which we break out in the summertime. It is uh, about five below right now here in New Hampshire. Yeah, a little too cold for the we sled are, work. We are not going outside <laughs> yet. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, that's that's the gym and, and a lot of a lot of great benefits to home gym training. So I hope you check it out and get into it. Awesome. Yeah, and the overall theme that I'm that I'm hearing with home gym training is that it's it's affordable. You know, you don't have to pay for a gym membership. You can put together equipment that you can use for life and you can start with a pair of dumbbells and just some floor space if you learn some body weight exercises. So it's definitely doable and I encourage you to get started with home gym training in any way you can. And getting started is as simple as, hey, I don't have time to make it to the gym today. What can I do at home? So this is John Sifferman from johnsifferman.com. Be strong and be well.